This is a short video tutorial covering the three main calendar types in Central Reach. The first and most widely used is View My Calendar. To view this calendar type, navigate to the scheduling module and select View My Calendar. The week view is the default for this view. However, there are four other views that may be used as well. Change the views by clicking on the week dropdown right under the search bar. For this example, I will bring in some of my RBT's calendars by using a contact label. The day view allows users to see their appointments for a specific day. In this case, we are viewing for Friday. The week view allows users to see appointments for any given week. The month view allows you to see all appointments for any given month. The list view allows users to see appointments scheduled per day and per hour within a given week. And the planner view allows users to see appointments based in blocks that are either for specific clients or for specific staff. So you'll see here since I did search for my RBTs, we are seeing it based on my staff. The second calendar type we'll cover is the day planner. This view is located under the view my calendar option within the scheduling module. Use the search bar to add individual staff or clients, or add a group by using a contact label. The third calendar type is View as Grid. This view is located under the planner in the scheduling module list. Remove the principal for the organization account, and you'll be able to see all appointments for all staff under any given date range. If there is more than one page listed on the right, you can come over here and choose to see uh, any set number of appointments on one page. Click the horizontal bars over on the right to put spaces between each type of appointment. Click the cloud icon to export this list into a CSV or a text file uh, if you would like to do any further audits. You may use this view to also select only to see active appointments, canceled appointments, or deleted appointments. You will also be able to see any stated reasons here. So if you used cancellation reasons and you list those, you'll see them here as well. You may click on any of the blue lettering to activate the filter.
If you find a view or a group of settings that you like and would like to use over and over again, click the Save This View as Filter to save it for later. Just add a name, and you can decide whether you would like to save the date range that you are currently viewing. If not, click the top one. You can check it for seven days, so it will change weekly, or you can use the manual range that you're looking at currently. Once you're done with that, click Save, and you'll be able to view it again under Filters, Saved Filters.